On the East Coast, for a 13-bout card whose five-fight main event portion was broadcast on both ESPN Plus and its mainstream network Big Brother, ABC. It was the second fight night show to appear on ABC and began with a moment of silence in honor of rapper Earl, DMX, Simmons, who died Friday of cardiac arrest at age 50. The basic cable, streaming undercard also made news with the 37th UFC appearance of lightweight Jim Miller, a new record for the promotion. And all fighters performed with outfits and gear produced by Venom, which agreed to a multi-year contract after the promotion's six-year deal with Reebok ended. A new agreement with the social media platform TikTok was also unveiled. The familiar team of John Anik, Daniel Cormier and Dominic Cruz handled cage-side blow-by-blow and analysis duties, while Megan Alevi handled breaking news and features elsewhere in the building. The group was joined by Brendan Fitzgerald, Michael Bisping and Paul Felder in a remote studio. The BR Combat Sports team shook off the cobwebs to join the event and assemble the authoritative collection of real winners and losers across the six-plus hours. Take a look at what we came up with and drop a viewpoint of your own in the comments section. Point one of seven Chris Unger, Getty Images at least Kevin Holland will always have 2020. The Texas-based middleweight was among the UFC's breakout stars last year, winning five fights in 210 days and racking up some of the promotion's most memorable highlights and sound bites. But within just 99 days of 2021, it's all disappeared. Fighting for the second time in three weeks against a higher-ranked foe at 185 pounds, Holland was once again manhandled, smothered and outworked on the way to a wide decision loss in a main event. This time, it was no. Five-ranked Marvin Vittori doing the damage, racking up a divisional record 11 takedowns on the way to sweeping all three scorecards by matching counts of 50 to 44. Holland, ranked 10th, was favored on March 20 to beat Derek Brunson, but was listless across 25 minutes en route to a similar result. He took the match with Vittori on short notice after Darren Till pulled out with a broken collarbone and predictably entered Saturday as a significant underdog. He threw and landed some dangerous-looking punches and kicks, including one to Vittori's groin that stopped the bout for nearly a minute, but was taken down for the first time at 3.30 of the opening round and spent more than a minute on his back. Vittori continued to employ the takedown hunting approach and had at least two minutes of control time in each of the last four rounds. It wasn't pretty and it wasn't always exciting, but he did what he had to do, Cormier said. Sometimes that's all that matters, just getting the win. For my money, Marvin Vittori would be hard to deny a middleweight title shot after what he did tonight.